In The Culmination of History, Barney Israel's End and the Red Heifer in Israel, Mufti Menk delivers a compelling exploration into the eschatological events foretold in Islamic tradition. As humanity traverses the currents of time, the quest to comprehend the signs of the end times grows increasingly pertinent. Mufti Menk, esteemed for his profound insights and scholarly prowess, presents a meticulous analysis of the subject matter, inviting readers on a journey of enlightenment and spiritual discovery. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This evening we have three beautiful stories that are mentioned in the Quran, incidents that occurred during the life of Musa alayhi salatu was salam. We will start with the first one where there was a man, a very, very wealthy man. He passed away and he left one son, just one son. And this one son, he inherited everything. So the cousins were quite jealous and they murdered him. When they murdered him, there was a problem. There was a debate. Who murdered this man? Who murdered this man? So they went to Musa alayhi salam. They said, look, we need to know the murderer of this person. It's causing a big problem. It is splitting people, splitting communities. This is what is happening. It's causing a rift in the family and what have you. So Musa alayhi salam made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one day he comes back. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَىٰ لِقَوْمِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُكُمْ أَن تَذْبَحُوا بَقَرَةً Musa alayhi salam came back to his people and he says, Oh my people, Allah has solved your problem. He wants you to sacrifice a cow. You sacrifice a cow and then you will see Allah will release the name of whoever was the murderer. So these people, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam says, Shaddadu fashaddad Allahu alayhi. They didn't obey the instruction. They wanted to make life difficult. So Allah made it more difficult for them. This is why when we are given instruction, obey it. Don't just wait and ask more questions and so on. Obey the instruction. We'll see later on, inshallah. So it was very simple for them to obey the instruction and continue. But no, they told Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, there are many cows out there. So many cows out there. We are confused. Make dua to Allah to inform us a little bit more detail. What type of a cow does he want? قَالَ إِنَّهُ يَقُولُ إِنَّهَا بَقَرَةٌ لَا فَارِضٌ وَلَا بِكْرٌ عَوَانٌ بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ فَافْعَلُوا مَا تُؤْمَرُونَ He says it should neither be old nor young, some thumping in between, a, a, an animal meaning a cow, neither too old nor is it too young, something in between, and do what you've been ordered, follow the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your issue will be made easy. Now they seen the cows, they had a category of cows. So the older were removed from their minds and the young were also removed and they had this middle category of cows. They went back to Musa alayhi salam, Ya Musa, the middle category of cows are too many. So tell us, what's the color of this cow? Make dua to Allah. Oh Musa alayhi salam, make dua, call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let him tell us, what's the color of the cow? So Musa alayhi salam made dua again. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَالَ إِنَّهُ يَقُولُ إِنَّهَا بَقَرَةٌ صَفْرَاءُ فَاقِعُ اللَّوْنُهَا تَسُرُّ النَّاظِرِينَ You want to know the color? It is a rich yellow color that attracts the attention of the people and is cool to the eye. It makes the people who look at it happy. So it's a rich yellow color. Something... Let's say more golden, a golden color of a cow. So mashallah, they started looking, they found quite a few. So they went to Musa alayhi salam, Ya Musa, we've got a problem. We don't know which one exactly to slaughter. So now you tell us, make dua to Allah to tell us a little bit more detail. قَالُوا دَعُوا لَنَا رَبَّكَ يُبَيِّنْ لَنَا مَا هِيَ إِنَّ الْبَقَرَ تَشَابَهَا عَلَيْنَا Oh Musa, we are confused. There's too many of these. And we don't know. They're all quite similar. So you tell us, ask Allah to give us a little bit more detail. And inshallah, we will be guided. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds. قَالَ إِنَّهُ يَقُولُ إِنَّهَا بَقَرَةٌ لَا ذَلُونٌ تُثِيرُ الْأَرْضَ 
ولا تسقي الحرث مسلمة لا شية فيها What happened? Allah made it very difficult for them. Allah says, it must be a cow that was neither prepared to till the land nor prepared to be used for irrigation. It must be perfect without a spot on it. No mark, nothing. Now it became very hard. They started hunting for the cow. They told Musa alayhi salam, Now you've come with something that is understandable. Now you've brought something understandable. So they went around, they started hunting for the cow. They found one cow, one cow belonging to someone. What had happened and whose cow was this? There was a man, it is reported, who passed away and he left behind a widow and an orphan, one child and an orphan, meaning an, or the orphan child and his widow. And he had made a dua prior to passing away. Ya Allah, I'm dying at this age. I'm leaving my wife and child. Ya Allah, I leave them in your care. You look after them. What did he have? He only had one calf, a little calf. So he instructed his wife before he passed away, take this calf and release it into the forest because I don't trust these people. If they know that they are weak people, they will usurp the wealth. Like what happens today. You have inheritance. Wealthy people are stealing the money of their sisters and mothers in our midst. And people don't mind. No, our father gave you when he was alive. What are you talking about? Go to the ulama, put your papers down, put your hands down, surrender. Tell them whatever Allah says, I will do. Even if I'm left without a penny, I know for as long as Allah is happy with me, let them take whatever is their share. This is what we should be doing. But wallahi, sadly, uhdiratil anfusu shuh. The shuh is the highest level of bukhl. A'la maratib al bukhl. The highest level of, of stinginess man has, sadly. The more you have, the more you want. The more greedy you become. We can't release it. We become wealthy and we think for a moment that you know what? Nobody's going to catch us. So this is a lesson we learn that remember, we need to fulfill our covenant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the most important laws of the Sharia is what is known as al-fara'id or al-mirath. The inheritance, the sharing of the inheritance amongst the people after the death of someone is absolutely sacred. Allah is watching every split cent that is being divided. And if there's an error, in, if there is an error, complete oblivion or mistake, that's one thing. But if it is intentional, even if it is one cent, do you know what it is? It is a red hot coal from the fire of Jahannam. Take it or leave it. So it's up to us what we are taking. And this is why let's resolve our disputes tonight. Anyone has a dispute of inheritance, phone them and give the people whatever is their due today. Tell them, look, Abshir bi khair. You need to be given good tidings, glad tidings. I am fearing my grave. I'm fearing Allah. I'm not going to take all that wealth with me into my grave. If it is your due, it's yours. And even if it means it's 20 years later, it's all yours. Let's work it out and sort it out. And believe me, do it now. Because the spirituality outside the masjid is different from that in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we make an intention here and now. So this man, as he left his cow, it was a calf. Allah had protected the calf that it was grazing on its own and anyone went near it, it would make sure that it went away. It didn't allow anyone to touch it, no one. Until one day when the boy grew a little bit older, the mother said, look, your dad has left a cow and it's in the forest somewhere. Go and look for it. How am I going to look for it? Anyway, as he went, there was only one cow that came to him. And when it came to him, at that time, people were looking for exactly the same cow. So they went to him and they told the young man, we want to buy this cow. It fitted everything that Musa alayhi salam was told. So he said, look, I can't sell it. I need to speak to my mother. He went to the mother. They were talking about a price and they were speaking. And then the mother said, look, how can you sell it? We don't want to sell it at all. Until the boy says, okay, finally, I'll settle for the skin of this cow filled with gold. Give it to me. They said, no problem. MashaAllah, what an expensive cow. What an expensive cow. So they slaughtered the cow. They cut the cow, mashallah. After they purchased it, they slaughtered the cow. Young man became rich, mashallah. And at the same time, Allah says, فَذَبَحُوهَا وَمَا كَادُوا يَفْعَلُونَ They slaughtered it. And we need to know something. They did not have to go around hunting. When Allah told them, cut the cow, had they caught the next cow and slaughtered it, it would have still served the same purpose. But شَدَّدُوا فَشَدَّدَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ They wanted to make life difficult. Allah made it more difficult upon them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
وإذ قتلتم نفسا فادارأتم فيها والله مخرج ما كنتم تكتمون فقل نضربوه ببعضها كذلك يحيي الله الموتى ويريكم آياته لعلكم تعقلون Allah says and remember when the person was murdered and you were debating and arguing as to who murdered that particular person. We instructed you to take a chunk of the meat from this cow and strike with it the dead man. And when he was struck, he came up alive after he had died. And he said the name of the person who murdered him and he died again. This is in the Quran. Allah says, كَذَلِكَ يُحْيِي اللَّهُ الْمَوْتَ This is how Allah gives life to the dead. Allah says, we've done it so many times in the past. We heard of in Banu Israel, a number of people who were given life after they died. Allahu Akbar. This is the qudra, the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what had happened. And thereafter the problem was solved. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors and grant us a lesson from this beautiful story that is mentioned. Firstly, the qudra of Allah. Secondly, the matter of justice. Thirdly, how we should not debate and argue. When the truth comes to us, we surrender to it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding.